guys, welcome to episode 9 of Pineapple Knits. I'm Marina and you can visit me on Instagram and Ravelry at Pineapple Yarn and you can visit my hand dyed yarn company at pineappleyarn.com. So I hope you guys have had a great week. It has been crazy here. I've been dyeing up a ton of yarn, which is always fun because it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, yesterday here in the States, it was the 4th of July, Independence Day. So it was a really fun day off. We visited a parade and um, stayed up late, watched fireworks, and ate ice cream. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, our kids usually have fairly early bedtimes. It just kind of, it's what they need to do. It works great for our family. So we let them stay up late last night and they chased fireflies and were able to see the fireworks. So it was super exciting for them. And um, yeah, we had a really, really fun day. Of course, it was the hottest day of the year sitting outside in the sun. And so I, I don't mind it. It's, it's really nice and uh, it takes a lot for me to get tired of the heat. And so I try to just soak it all in, getting ready for winter. <laughs> so it was really fun. And um, yeah, so this week has been really, really crazy. I dyed, I've been dyeing a ton of yarn for my update this week. Um, I think I have dyed over 100 skeins for the update. Plus, I have some kits available, so I'll talk about that later on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start talking about knitting. I don't have a ton to show you guys this week because I've been working mostly on a test knit. I had to rip out a frog, uh, the entire the entire body up to where I divided for the sleeves last week because I used the wrong needle. <laughs> so I redid all of that, re-knit all of that. I finished the ribbing on the bottom. Now I just have the sleeves, yay, I'm so excited. And um, because I didn't have enough test nets to do, I am on board for two more. <laughs> they shouldn't take too long though. One is a, um, it's a six to 12 month size in a DK weight. And the other is a two to four year size in a worsted weight. So those should be really fast, really fun. And um, I will show you those yarns now, the yarns that I'm using. Color work has become so popular in the knitting world and I frankly need some practice on it. So. That's why I agreed to do these test knits because they're obviously test knitting is really fun and um, I need practice on color work. So they're all color work projects. So for my six to 12 month size, this will be for my son and um, the main color will be this color, which is a uh, new, a new color I've been dying and it is pearl. It is a very pale, very neutral gray. And to pair up with this, I will be doing my shamrock color and a new color. This is a pale, bright, kind of a spring green. Sorry, these are so messy, guys. And <laughs> let's see if I can balance these. <laughs> to uh, finish off the color work section. This really pretty, I think I'll be calling this cornflower because it is a really pretty cornflower blue. But I think these all go together so well. And um, it will be a really, really cute sweater, um, cute boy sweater. So those will be for his sweater. And I think it's fine to say that it's a sweater if it's a test knit. I don't really, a secret test knit, so I'm not really sure always what the rules are, but I think it's fine to say it. in general it's a sweater. <laughs> but so for my um, two to four year size sweater, this will be worsted weight. And 
the main color of the sweater is also a new color I've been dying. I've been trying to add more tonals to the shop because uh, first of all color work is so popular it's really nice I love kind of a semi-solid or tonal hand dyed um, in a sweater just because it adds a lot of interest and also it's a great accent for um, shawls or different projects that are several colors so this will be the main color of her sweater this is um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this. It's a beautiful, warm, uh, kind of a medium brown with tan. Um, almost, I want to say there's almost some pink in it. I may call this rose gold because to me this looks very much like rose gold. I think <laughs> this is such a pretty color. I really... I really love it and I don't normally go toward neutrals I'm very much a color person but um, as far as neutrals go I think this is absolutely stunning and I will be pairing this most likely I haven't knit the swatch yet so kind of need to do that and see if these colors are going to go well together but I will be pairing it with my neon coral color, which is a true neon color. It is very pretty. And a new color that I will be putting in my shop. This is a very pretty peach. It is, it is reading more uh, pink right now on the screen, but it is peach. It pairs really, really well with the neon coral. And then as a dark accent, I may be using this. I'm not sure I need to knit a swatch, but this is a really pretty um, navy. It has, it's very tonal, and it has nice light and dark areas. It's reading more blue on the screen right now, but it's a really, really pretty blue. So these are the colors I'm going to use for hers. Yeah, not really sure <laughs> yet, but definitely the bottom three, I think, look really nice together. They all have um, warm tones in them. The navy, I'm not really sure about. I may pair it, or I may swap it out with maybe a black. So, yay, those are the neat uh, test knits I'm going to be doing. I can't wait to show you guys. I think the patterns are going to be released in September, so it will be a while before I can show you, but um, tune in in September and I'll show you the finished product. So um, let me show you the other things that I'm working on that I actually can show you. So I did start another sock and um, I just needed something kind of a vanilla sock, something easy to do. And this is um, what I have done so far. So pretty. This is my flamingo colorway. And I love how this knits up. Let me show you in skein what it looks like. It has beautiful pink tones, a couple of different pink tones, bright yellow, um, black speckles, and this is how it knits up. So I actually dye it so it has, it is kind of self-striping, not self-striping uh, in the traditional sense of the word, but the way I dye it on the skein, it actually lends itself to stripes in a sock. It can be used in different projects as well, but wow, I just, I'm kind of in love with this right now. I think it is really pretty. And as usual, I'm knitting this on a um, Addy sock rocket. I think they're called turbo rockets now um, in, on a size zero. So yeah, there's that. I'm also knitting another sock. I've been working on it. I started the second sock of my um, Grand Scheme socks. This colorway is uh, Grand Scheme by Republic of Wool. 
And this is, I've shown you guys this before, this is a really, really pretty color um, or colorway. Pinks, golds, olive, aqua, and some nice speckles too. So I'm also knitting those just a toe up vanilla sock on a size zero. So yeah, that is it for my knitting right now. I've purposefully not started any large projects because it is July now and I can start on my beekeeper card again. So my plan is for that to take the next two weekends and work on the work on the cardigan like crazy. Just knit as much as I can in those four days and see where I end up. So I can't wait to show my progress. I'll be sharing that on Instagram and then I'll also show you next week on the podcast. So like I said, I don't have a lot of knitting to share with you this week, unfortunately. I did bring up a shawl that I've knit. Um, I knit this probably about two years ago and this is my um, pineapple flower colorway. The name of the shawl, of course I didn't look it up before I started this. <laughs> it's a little crazy here today, but I will post it down below and also in the show notes. Um, it is a, It was a really, really fun pattern because um, instead of a shawl, you know, a lot of shawls are top down, knit long ways and then kind of decrease down to a point. This is actually knit um, side to side. Side to side? No. Side to side, but it's knit up and down. So you don't have long, long rows. Um, I'll just hold this out so you can see. It starts here and then um, you have the long, let's see. I think what you did is you knit here up and down this way and then I believe it has this was an applied lace uh, border so I'll just unravel this and show you real quick this may let's see let me show you the right side that would help <laughs> so as you can see you started on one end and then knit back and forth all the way across. And then I believe what you did is picked up stitches and did this lace border, which is a stockinette and then the lace pattern. It could have been the reverse. It could have been the lace pattern and then you pick up and then you do, I don't remember. <laughs> it was a couple of years ago. But um, I did this to show off my pineapple flower uh, colorway, which I really love and um, wanted to kind of show that off. So I was gonna wear this, but it is way too hot today. Way too hot, but this is a really uh, fun pattern. I'd recommend it if you want to knit a shawl and it's, you just don't want the long, long rows because this was um, I remember this being just such a fun pattern because it didn't have the long rows. So let me show you what pineapple flower actually looks like in the skein. I have uh, really a ton of yarn to show you guys. I'm not even going to show you everything I dyed because I don't want to bore you honestly. <laughs> um, I am going to be adding a ton of things to my shop on Friday and um, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you that skein. It's my colorway um, pineapple flower, and did I show you guys this last week? I can't remember now. I may have, so please excuse me if I did. But this is a really, really beautiful colorway. It has um, several different colors of green, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of these skeins. So they do have some really delicate speckles, dark colors. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. This, I'll have it on sparkle, and then I also have it on my um, just regular sock base. 
So I will have that in the shop. That's what this colorway looks up knitted. And um, I think I've heard some people, and I'm, I'm, I think this is a common, um, a common opinion or feeling, that when you have a highly variegated skein like these, that all you can knit is socks, and you really can knit quite a few things with it. So what I wanted to show you is that you can knit in a garment like this, like this shawl, using a variegated skein of yarn, or a couple, and it looks great. I mean, I think this is so pretty. I don't think it is too flashy or obnoxious. I think it is really pretty, and um, it's definitely not as subtle as you know, maybe a semi-solid or tonal would be, but it ends up being a beautiful knit, and um, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Before I move into showing you my yarn, I forgot to I forgot to bring something up that I have been working on. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to all of your advice that you gave me about spinning wheels. Uh, I've had direct messages on Ravelry and Instagram. I had comments um, on the last podcast, and I really appreciate all the information you gave me about spinning wheels and the brands that you like. I really appreciate that and appreciate you taking the time to share your knowledge with me. Um, I had several people mention that I should start using a drop spindle if I want to get the hang of spinning before I actually acquire a spinning wheel. And I have drop spindled for several years actually. Um, I started quite a long time ago. I don't do it that often, uh, frankly, because it's uh, tedious. Once you spin, you have to stop, wind it onto the spindle, and then you can continue. Um, I think for that, for some people, that might be kind of, um, I'm trying to think of the word. They like, it's rhythmic. They like the rhythm of it. I like things pretty fast. <laughs> so something like that um, just, is hard for my patience sometimes. But um, I actually did get my drop spindle out and I'd forgot that I had some pencil roving from Noro. I had a big roll, I think it's called their rainbow roll and I'll have to bring it next next week to show you. Um, but I had bought it on sale years ago and had never spun it. I thought maybe it'd be fun and a craft or something and so I spun probably half of it it's a hundred grams I probably spun half of it last weekend and had a blast doing it and so I will show you next weekend I have quite a ways to go with my technique and if you've used the Noro rainbow rolls you'll know that there are as with Noro yarns there's vegetable matter in it there's neps, so it's uneven. Um, I'm sure my technique does not help at all <laughs> with those two things, but it was really fun to do, and um, so I'll have to bring that next week. So if you guys are watching, if any of you have any other um, ideas or suggestions or comments about spinning wheels, please, please leave me a comment below um, I, or message me on Ravelry or Instagram. I would love to hear your advice because I am still full steam ahead, really wanting a spinning wheel and um, think that I can fit that in my life right now. <laughs> so like I mentioned, I will be having a shop update uh, tomorrow, this Friday. It is the 6th of July at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will be at my shop, pineappleyarn.com. And one thing that you can do to make finding new yarns easier, there is a drop down menu on the right hand side and it is a sorting menu. So you can sort it. I think the default is alphabetical, but you can sort it by newest to oldest. And that's what I'd recommend doing to, so you can see all of the new yarns I have added. So let's go ahead and I'll uh, show you what is new in the shop. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna go ahead and show you as a group some of the new tonals I'm adding. I don't have names for all of them, but um, I don't think it'll be really hard to find on my shop. So here are some of the new tonals. I have this um, pale green. It's reading a lot more green on the screen, but I do have kind of a green black color. I love this color. This is made um, I do want to show you this actually close up this it's a green block color Maybe I'll call it green block because it is so pretty. It has so many different layers on it. This one's on my Gold nani twist base, which is sparkle gold sparkle and then I also have it on the lani base. I Really love this color. I'm not um, I'm wearing black today, but I don't normally wear black and I'm not really a dark yarn person. I just, I gravitate towards the brighter colors, but these are so pretty as an accent in a project or just a pair of socks or a sweater. These are really pretty. If you guys are interested in sweater quantities, you can always message me. I'm more than happy to dye them up. I just don't carry sweater quantities normally in stock in the shop. I also have this really pretty pale mauve color. I have this um, pretty color. I do think I'm gonna call this rose gold. This is the same that I will be knitting my um, little girl sweater from. So those are really pretty together. I will also have um, some restocks. This is heliotrope, which is a very pretty bright purpley pink color. I will have amethyst, which is a blue, um, kind of a bluish purple. So those are really pretty together, pretty purples. I will have um, this new blue color, which I think I'm going to call cornflower. It is br um, deeper than my Makai color, which is kind of a light blue. That is so pretty. I really love this blue. I will have this um, peach color. All these are kind of blowing out. I'm sorry. I sit by a window to do my podcast, so I have light and then things always get blown out. But this is a true peach. It's very pretty. And then I will also have this gorgeous red. I love this red. It is... Um, I wouldn't say it's a deep red. It has pink undertones. I think I'm going to call it candy apple because it is, that's what it reminds me of. It's so pretty. I think it would be gorgeous um, in a project. So there's that. And then I'm gonna show you some colorways that would match this. I, um, I developed two new colorways kind of for some fall projects if you are looking into fall. So this one actually, this one doesn't have a name. It has that beautiful candy apple color. It is a, accented with some tans, some really pretty speckles, but these two pair so well together. And then if you wanted to add this rose gold with it. Those are just super, I think these are really pretty, pretty fall for some fall projects. Um, other colors that would look really good with it are honeycomb. That would be pretty. So those will be in the shop. And then I also have another fall um, colorway, which also doesn't have a name. And this is um, a very pretty, it has very beautiful colorway. It has mauve, it has some like pale moss greens, deep browns, speckles. So this also looks good with um, this kind of pale mauve color that I have as well as this. So I think those are really, really pretty together. This would also look good with um, my dusty sage color which is a pale, pale sage green. So I will have those in the shop for some fall colors. I know some of you are going to be looking towards fall, getting started with some 
autumn project, so those are kind of a departure from my normal colors, but I thought it would be fun. Other colorways I will have are um, Bird of Paradise. I made this uh, several, well, a couple years ago, probably about two years ago when I lived in Hawaii. It has all the colors of Bird of Paradise, so that is a beautiful, beautiful bright skein. I will have Toucan to Me, which is pale pink, beautiful yellowy minty green, blues, and black speckles. Have one of my favorites, which is Sunset Beach. I think this is such a beautiful skein. It is layers of oranges, greens, pinks, purples. It is a very complex uh, colorway and it is so fun to knit because there are so many different colors in it. So um, I will have this. This is Barrier Islands. It is pinks and warm golds with different colors of speckles. So I will have this on my Gold Nani Twist Sparkle as well as just my regular um, sock base. I told you guys I have a lot of yarn, so let me show you a couple more colorways and then I promise I'll stop. But um, this one is actually called Beach Break. It's pretty, it has a, kind of a Tiffany blue, Kelly green with um, pink, and different colors of speckles. This one is Surfer Girl. That is so fun and punchy and fun for summer, full of speckles. This one is Mermaid Doll. As the name suggests, it is actually all the colors of a mermaid my girls had a couple of years ago and I just love the colors together so I developed a colorway named from it. The last one I'm going to show you is Peachy Day. It is peaches, orange, bright orange speckles, um, pretty greens and aquas and this is um, probably one of my paler colorways <laughs> which it's still really bright and cheery but um, this is a pretty one. Whew. So after all that yarn, I, I will also have um, some mermaid kits available and I'm really excited about these. I've been working on these for quite a while now and um, I've just had some delays on them. So I'm really, really excited to share these with you because they are absolutely beautiful and um, yeah, I'm excited to bring them finally to you. But this is the aqua colored bag and it has the cutest mermaids, it has um, narwhals and it will, it also has some really pretty um, metallic accents on it. And I will have it in aqua. I also have it in this really pretty pink. And um, they both have the gray accents, metallic accents. And then I'm so excited because I actually developed two colors to go with them. The colorways will only be available with these kits. So I have the kit and then the beautiful, beautiful yarn to go with it. This is a um, really pretty shell pink with gray, like a soft gray in it. It has multi, several different colors of speckles, but it actually matches this bag perfectly. And let me see if you can get that, if I can get that in there. I love this kit. It is so pretty. And, um, and I have the same for the aqua. So this is a matching 
skein of yarn. It is um, an aqua with soft gray and the coordinating speckles. These two are I just am absolutely enamored with these. I think they are so beautiful and um, there are, you know, just being completely transparent here, I, I am a bit of a perfectionist, I admit that. Um, and when I make something like this and I'm aiming to make something, you know, matching or coordinating, I don't always 100% love the finished product. These I love. I really have quite high standard for myself and I think these are so, so pretty. I will also have a um, included in the kit a matching uh, gold sea star starfish uh, progress keeper. So all three of those will go together. They're so cute, these kits are, and they would make wonderful gifts. Uh, gift yourself, gift for, I mean, save it for Christmas if you want, or the holidays. Um, they are would make beautiful birthday gifts. And yeah, I just, I think these are just so pretty. So I hope you like them as much as I do. And I will have both of those colors available in the shop on Friday. So it was a lot, you guys. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> Thank you if you are. Um, so I am looking forward this week. Um, I will be starting my beekeeper cardigan. Very excited about that. And working on those test knits. Hopefully I'll get some more done with my socks. And yeah, so I have a lot to look forward to this week. Um, I still have a lot of work. Um, today and tomorrow listing all that yarn in the shop and getting it ready for you guys so if you want to browse the shop when it has all of these new items it will be um, updated on tomorrow Friday the 6th of July at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and there are some things available in the shop right now the shop isn't empty there I always have things in the shop if you want to browse beforehand and, um, you know, some people have, I've received messages asking, you know, do you sell out? And um, short answer, no, I don't sell out. I just have these updates at a regular time. So you know when they're available and um, I kind of make that fair for everybody. Um, that being said, there are some things that do sell out uh, more quickly than others and um, I think the mermaid kits probably will sell out fairly quickly so if you are interested in those I would recommend um, reaching the update at 8 p.m. because my kits usually do go pretty quickly thank you so much for joining me today if um, if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you could subscribe to this podcast just so you can get the word out about it. I know that I am an avid podcast watcher and subscriber, and many of you probably are too. So the more likes and subscribes we have, the more we can share this podcast. And um, if you're in the States, I hope you have a great recovery from the 4th of July. I know I'll be recovering. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. And um, if you're elsewhere, I also hope that you have a great weekend and I hope you join me next time. So until then, I hope you have an awesome time knitting. Bye guys.